Hello, another upload after two weeks. I've been away for a while, haven't I? So, hi, nice to see you again. Hope you've been keeping well. Reasons for that, well, I stopped social media for a while after my A-level results day video. Reason number two, I got so many messages. You don't understand, like, I do a lot of stuff outside of YouTube. So I spent a lot of time for going going through all the messages and I just really appreciate how much everyone cares and how much effort they put into the reassurance messages, all the conversations I've met with so many students around the UK, so many people have finished A-levels, so many people starting A-levels. All of you, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. I've tried to do my best to put as much thought and effort into each message um, because I do care. I do appreciate the time put into them to try and support me. And likewise, I will do my best to support all of you. Um, so far away, it's nice to see such a supportive, supportive communities out there that are all just binding together when everyone needs to help each other. I love to see that. So I was in Morocco for a week like a few days after they level results day my family booked a holiday in Morocco. Planned to vlog that but honestly I just couldn't be bothered with everything that was going on. So that was a nice holiday. Unfortunately I couldn't record any of it. Uh but we're back and I'm also do working six days a week now. So three days at a warehouse, three days at a, a food shop. Um just to really get experience and get money ready for university. Uh, with regards to university, I'll be starting at Exeter University now in uh, Penryn campus. So down south of England, complete change of environment. Um, hopefully we'll have a good adventure there. I've just honestly learned to accept that wherever life takes you, it is for the best and you just need to go with the flow. Um, I've met some amazing people in the Durham group chats, some amazing people at the Manchester group chats. Uh, there's just honestly too many people in the name. You know you're one of them. You probably are one of them if you're watching this video. Uh, and it's a shame. Again, I say the same thing. I've said it so many times. It's a shame I can't be with you. But, you know, we will. Everyone will keep in touch. And I mean, you got this YouTube channel, so you all can keep in touch. I mean, we have to look look ahead, right? So, as I'm now going to Exeter, uh, I've actually had Exeter in my life for quite a while. So I've been Exeter have sort of been working on me for like a year now, and they've really supported me um, through their Exeter Scholars Program. And this is what today's video is about. I found about Exeter Scholars through my own research an outreach program that selects disadvantaged aspiring students where perhaps university progression rates are quite low uh, and really just works on them using a various different techniques and resources to make them uh, perhaps a better applicant in the UCAS pool and improve their chances of going to a university. Lots of universities have something like this. So I know uh, UCL have one, but I didn't get into UCL's one. Um, I know that Surrey have one. Um, I did Surrey's one as well, but I didn't end up actually applying to them in the end. Um, and uh, Oxford also has um, quite a few, which I've made a video on them last year so i'll have that linked below um and there's there's so many universities out there you just need to really google around research around the one today i'm focusing on is exeter because in the end i've ended up at exeter yeah they, they just deserve the credit for it i applied in year 12 uh like towards the end of year 12 um on the exeter website and they require information like information about yourself your school your gcse grades all of that stuff so they can really see um what people need support basically and they select you and um one the key a massive part of it was the summer school due to covid that year i had to do the summer school online but it usually is physical summer schools at the campus that had one week loads of activities loads of workshops loads of ucas related things loads of um 
events where you can meet other prospective extra students collaborating on a pa making powerpoints yeah because you have to make a powerpoint presentation for that week in a group um depending on your department because it is course specific and also with that throughout the throughout year 13 they also support you um i've got a list here actually to recheck everything um actually one of the key benefits you get is when you apply to the university of exeter you actually get a three grade reduction and that's including medicine for example my school is heavily underperforming i can put it into words um the uh, a three grade reduction is really helpful so when i applied to exeter i applied for human sciences um human sciences with a placement year i believe and they reduced my offer from aab to bbc which is just so generous and a lot more achievable from my context. Other thing that's really helpful is they give you a travel bursary. So when you do go to the Exeter open days or the Exeter offer holder days, they give you 150 pound. Uh, they don't just give that to you, but you have to provide evidence receipts. So I uploaded another YouTube video on the Exeter open day I went to, uh, and they covered a uh, 100 pound of my a train ticket and because it was quite far from me i had to stay overnight at a hotel and they covered 50 pound for the premier inn um overnight stay which obviously saved me a lot of money so that's also really generous of them also uh, uh, offer a award scholarship so i didn't get this unfortunately but if you achieve three a's at a level they'll also give you 1,500 pounds to support you in your first year of university. Another thing they also did was that someone directly from the biosciences, biology department at X had her as a support source to edit my personal statement. Throughout year 13, I only used her once, um, even though I did multiple redrafts on my UCAS personal statement, um, but I wish I did use that service a lot more. So if you do get the opportunity, definitely use that because it's directly someone from the course department mission side. So it is like the best person you can go to regarding UCAS <laughs> getting an offer. The whole experience made me reassured that university is a possibility for me. No uni is ever out of reach for me because Exeter is a Russell group and someone from my context perhaps wouldn't consider somewhere somewhere so far and so prestigious so taking part not just in exeter scheme but in these access and widen outreach schemes in general really does help you a lot by the way everything i'm saying will be in a link below so and that link will take you directly to the official university of exeter scholars page where you can find out all more information because i don't know everything i might have forgotten some bits i think the camera is a bit different camera's a bit bigger from my other videos so i've just got a new phone so i hope the camera quality is better and you can hear me better i'm not sure <laughs> there's actually more <laughs> so being an extra scholar in the process they also provide you with extra scholar specific and special events that you can attend uh, again most of these were online for me but it was just mainly support and well-being sessions uh, really to push you through year 13 because oh my days having lived through year 13 it is stressful it is hard so they do support you from that respect and their career support as well like it's available to you straight away all through that year and all the way through if you do end up enrolling at exeter all the way to even finishing exeter even beyond that actually so exeter is always there for you and they are there for you from my experience so far so it sounds really good doesn't it um and the next step above that is the senior scholar which i am now and this is basically once you've finished that and once you've confirmed your place at exeter just to confirm you can take part in all of this and different universities offer different things but you have no way obliged to actually take up the place of exeter they can support you all for year 13 and you could still end up at another university that's okay you're not locked in for a choice uh, i'll give you my personal story later because it because exeter has always been there for me and it was always going to be exeter so i'll go into that later but with my senior scholar you've confirmed your place at exeter 
you'll get an enhanced induction program the day before freshers on the saturday so i believe that's the 17th of september this year all senior scholars uh, will be able to um basically get into their accommodation early and have the chance to meet each other and just get the opportunity to meet people earlier and get used to the environment earlier and make use of the support from early on because of the massive change in environments so that's another um thing that i'm really excited for i haven't experienced it yet but it is going to come soon and i've heard really good things about that and it just gets you ready for the three years of university two days uh, before everyone starts you can spend those two days doing a lot of things that preps you really well the more if you complete you can complete a like an online quiz that they send you out uh, it's like a mini exam but it is quite straightforward you just need to get like 80 percent or 70 percent on it multiple choice um just about the university of exeter just about the scholars program just about what you know about that it's google with it so it's quite i'd say easy to pass and if you do pass it uh they give you more support if you do pass it uh, then the option to actually work with Exeter comes. You can become an Exeter Senior Scholar um, Ambassador, so where you work with Exeter directly, um, being paid minimum wage. Uh, so it is uh, a form of work with them to don't know this fully and there isn't much information on it. I think helping out on open days, getting students interested, getting the word out there, things like that. Opportunity to actually make money with them. Get one-to-one -one support to an academic skills advisor throughout your whole time at university, which the whole idea of writing essays, balancing student life, it already sounds like a lot to do. Just to have a more experienced member there to chat can really help someone. So it's available. And finally, by the way, there's a lot more um, like sort of smaller things you might want to consider, like skills you get. I might have missed some stuff. I'm not sure. Everything will be linked below. You get some shopping vouchers for first year. So you can claim a, for example, I picked the £70 Amazon voucher. Uh, there's some other different vouchers you can pick. Get £100 already paid towards a gym of your choice. I think it may be the university gym. It is covered for you for first year only. And to actually become a senior scholar and access those additional uh, benefits, you have to complete the assessment. Uh, I'm going to just try and find my, my results because they do give it out. Just checked on an exam, you have to get 70% or above to get the enhanced range of benefits. I got 40... I've forgotten already. 40 something out of 57 equated to 86%. Uh, so I managed to pass that and got those additional benefits but the test is really nice they do make it easy for you and you just need to do a bit of googling around know a bit more about exeter uh, so you're sort of ready for that role so right at the end they post you a nice certificate look look how lovely that certificate is and it just shows you the course that you undertook that was the name of the course i did by the way i forgot it for a second Health sciences, personal and public health. And it's just nice to put this and store it away just so, because it was a week of um, quite a lot of intensive focus. There's an entire year of working with them. So they do offer a lot of benefits. I seriously think it is worth it. You might as well apply. It doesn't hurt in applying. There isn't much to do. Um, I can't remember if there is a little statement you have to write. It's not a massive one that you have to think, really think through, but just to explain your situation. I know some universities do require that. I'm not sure about Exeter. Say like their main things that helped was uh, things like the scholarships available, things like shopping vouchers available to you when you transition to university, the travel reimbursement on the open days and the offer holder days. And the reduced offer as well, I think the reduced offer played a massive role. I'll just show a screenshot of my UCAS, this is my reduced offer um, compared to the course website which says this. Yeah, in the end it was always meant to be Exeter, so my personal story of Exeter now. Exeter University, right, where do we begin? Started off with my head of sick form, um, who is a 
physics Exeter graduate and he was basically he used to be one of the only things he used to talk about and he pumped a lot of like emphasis into Exeter within within the boys at the sick form so in the end me and two others ended up applying to Exeter uh, one of them unfortunately couldn't get in didn't get an offer because his grades were too low and the other um, applied for maths you know it, it was Carlos <laughs> if you look at the uh, I vlogged the open day with Carlos and it is, a, it is a great video so you should definitely watch it it is linked below Carlos both got offers from Exeter however I was really fixated on Oxford and UCL being my first and my second choice got to an interview stage at Oxford rejected UCL rejected me and I got offers from Manchester, Durham and Exeter, uh, with Exeter being my most contextualised offer. Because Durham was also contextualised, but their offer was higher. And then Manchester just wasn't contextualised, it was just straight three A's. And I went to the Exeter Open Day with Carlos and had mixed thoughts about it. So I went to the wrong campus, firstly. So I'm not really, I can't really judge Exeter based on the wrong campus I went to, which I won't be spending much time. The campus I will be at is about two hours away from that campus. Carlos really enjoyed it, to be fair. I just didn't like it. One issue that I found was the lack of diversity, to be honest. From the summer school I went to, from what I'm hearing, I started putting a lot of effort into trying to diversify the, the university. The current group chats I, I'm in for Exeter, everyone seems so nice. So as long as there's no nothing bad, happening or nothing bad being promoted it's all good i'm happy to say that if i'm going to that environment and if i can support the misconceptions and stuff i will do that and that's the sort of person i am and if you know my life <laughs> i've already done it enough so let's just keep doing it um i had mixed thoughts about exeter's open day and then i went to manchester's open day manchester's open day was perfect i absolutely loved it I didn't notice anything bad on open day. The tour was fabulous. The labs were fabulous. Just everything was so good about it. Um, and in the end, I had three options. So I put Manchester as my firm. And in my insurance, I put Durham. So I didn't get a chance to see Durham. However, um, with my thoughts at, of Exeter, I was like, oh, I don't really have a choice. So I based it on prestige. And Durham is ranked um, better than Exeter. So I put Durham as my insurance. Uh, and that's what it went. I ended up projecting Exeter, um, the only option I rejected. Then comes A-level results day, and I didn't get into Manchester, and I didn't get into Durham. And I was forced into clearing. If you watch my A-level results day video, clearing was a very, it was a very hard experience. Results day was a very difficult experience for me. I just by myself mainly started frantically applying to so many different universities just without even thinking i was so desperate for a place i called up things like uh, lancaster i called up loveborough i've called i called up can't even remember uh kings i called up southampton newcastle all of them my grades of a b c were not good enough and i was telling them how i also got a c in my EPQ and how I was three marks of a B in my maths and I'm getting that remarked, it still wasn't enough. And then I gave extra a look. I was like, I might as well see what's available. So people interest change a lot. So initially my interest was in human sciences. I applied to Oxford for human sciences, I applied to UCL for human sciences, I applied to Exeter for, for human sciences. I was quite I was like, yeah, that's the course I'm gonna do. However, I lost interest in it over time and I'm more the biology person now so I want to do biology at uni um, and Exeter had a few courses available for biology but again I thought my grades wouldn't meet it. They had uh, evolutionary biology which was the course I ended up applying for clearing. They had some other types of biology but like not pure biology which is what I wanted because I wanted to study everything. Applied to a few other uh, places and then Nottingham also gave me an offer they gave me an offer for environmental biology. And then between those two, I was like, yeah, environmental biology doesn't really seem like my interest. I looked into their courses, did some research. And um, reflecting on my A-level experience, 
I do feel like my favourite topics in biology were things like human biology and also um, things like anatomy, physiology and also evolution. Like Darwin has been a consistent person who I've researched quite a lot in these projects. Like for my extra project, it was about Darwin and evolution and natural selection and stuff like that. In the end, I did that. Applied for that through clearing on UCAS um, and um, rejected all other clearing offers. For a while I was, so when you put in a clearing offer, Exeter gives you a 14 day calling off period. So within the two weeks you can pick to, you can choose to reject your clearing offer if you want to. And I was just thinking, oh, is this really what something I want to do? I don't like the open day. And keep in mind, like I had a lot of pressure on me. I had loads of messages to still reply to. I had the pressure of sorting my accommodation, changing my student finance, uh, whilst maintaining uh, my work life. And I mean, I tried maintaining my YouTube as well. Um, I couldn't really manage with, uh, with everything. I think, I'm not sure about this, but I think the fact that Exeter have put a lot of work into me and put used a lot of resources into me, and uh, the fact that I was a senior scholar came to my advantage because for their evolutionary biology course at Exeter, I think the entry requirements are A, A, B, and my grades were A, B, C, C, <laughs> if you include the EPQ, but I'm just going to ignore that. I did underperform and they still took me in, so I'm really thankful for Exeter. I rejected them at the start and they could have rejected me again, but they didn't. So I that's why I have huge respect to Exeter and I honestly cannot wait to go there and they've recently gone through a rebranding which to be honest looks nice but i'm not sure i preferred the old logo here's a new logo here's the old logo i prefer the old one they are trying to be greener they are trying to diversify um one youtuber that had a massive effect in like initially not really liking exo was ibsmo uh, i'll link his video below as well but he had a terrible experience of applying to exeter as a uh, Asian and as a Muslim as well that played a massive factor in me seeing Exeter quite badly however I'm really excited in the people from the Exeter Scholars team I'm not sure if I'm allowed to name you but you guys have been so kind and supported me like these guys have been emailing I've been emailing a lot out of any university department I've emailed quite a lot of universities to be honest and loads of departments and loads of people but these guys are the nicest like 100% I've had the most like emails back and forth with them so they've helped me through the whole process so right now i've got a really positive image on the university and the staff there so we'll see how it actually is when i move in i think even though after the open day last year i was like it was not going to be exeter and i rejected their offer and i was like yeah i'm never going to go to exeter perhaps it was always meant to be exeter right from the beginning uh, that's the thing with life like i initially thought out of any university, it was 100% not going to be Exeter because of what other YouTubers said, the racism I've heard that happens at Exeter, somewhat demystified, but every institution gets this. It happens everywhere, it's just about, and universities do do quite well to deal with it. I am guilty of judging Exeter wrongly, and that's the beauty of life. You, I guess it could be a beauty and it could be a curse. It, you never know where you're going to end up at in the end. I started sick form thinking it was either going to be Oxford, UCL, Durham or Manchester. Those are my four options. And I've ended up at Exeter. So I cannot wait. Honestly, there are a lot of cool people I'm talking to from Exeter starting in my accommodation area. So they've accepted my accommodation. Uh, my student finance has gone through. Everything is sorted. And I'll be moving in two weeks. Hopefully recording a lot of videos at Exeter. Um, gonna record my first day moving in. Freshers week. I'm gonna record a video on my thoughts before and after starting at Exeter. Hopefully my first term, my first year results, all of that. And I just can't wait. Like Exeter have given me another chance and I'm not gonna blow it. Cannot wait. Exeter. Everyone going Exeter, I'll see you soon. Alright. Thank you everyone for watching. If you have any questions about the senior scholars or Exeter in general, or if you're starting at Exeter or any university, do let me know. Uh, keep in touch. It is amazing. I love having conversations with you guys. And honestly, 
like there's been so much support from me from you lot i really appreciate it, so i want to play that back so if you need me anywhere do do reach out in the comments or if you want my instagram it is z underscore iz1a on the screen do check me out and leave me a dm if you need me take care everyone